Hello, I'm DeathSeeker512, and in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a custom tab for, like, creative mode. But it, uh, crap. <laughs> Did it again. Okay, so, what you want to do is go back up here and find a nice spot, maybe probably underneath here, and public... And then static and creative tabs. Okay, so obviously we're making a creative tab, but it has to be creative tabs for whatever reason. And then tut tab is what I'm just going to call it. And then equals new creative capital C, C creative tabs and then in parentheses like we've done down here tab like that okay so what this is doing is it's saying after you import everything uh, I'm gonna make a new creative tab and I'm gonna name it this to be used with but there's one more thing we have to do. Uh, uh, the default icon for the tab is a block of stone. But say you, you want to have your own custom icon for it. Well, add a brace, press enter. And what we're going to need to do in here is public item stack. And then get icon item stack. And of course, in here, we are going ha to have to return an item stack. So, whoa. No. Item stack. And I'm just going to do tut item comma one comma zero. If you don't know what these mean, you can always look at the at the item stack and see what each of these do. Or you could always go back into previous tutorials and relook over them. But what this does is it gets an icon from the item stack, and the item stack is getting it, is this, so then it takes the icon of that item, which is up here, and it creates the item stack and gets the icon from that. Now, you would think we're almost done, right? But we're not. So, under language registry, well, on the one that we have register language language registry dot instance in this case dot add string localization comma actually yeah okay so what we're going to need to do here is Oh, what was it? It was item group dot and then whatever we called it up here. Wait, where is it? Where is it? So then we want to get this after the dot. So I'm just going to copy and paste it there. And then, depending on your, what your language is, mine would be en underscore us because with a capital S, I live in the United States, and this is the language I'll be doing this for. And then a comma. Then in here, what you want to do is ha is what you want to actually name the creative tab for the user. So <sighs> tutorial is what I'm going to be naming this. 
Um, there are lots of other options you can use for this. Uh, ENUS is not the only one. So if we open the declaration of it, it is key and value going to do a bunch of oh well <laughs> okay so I'm seeing a lot of in US stuff um yeah so um once you have that done there's not going to be anything in this creative tab so what you can do here is dot set creative tab and then the name of the tab and then you can just copy and paste this and you can just go through and throw everything in there okay but say you want to have several creative tabs like one for tools one for armor and whatever you can use the same code except change this so if I were like put two and then time whatever and do that there now I've just all of a sudden created my other sorry another tab creative tab but I only want the one so there got rid of it so now let's run minecraft and see how well it works I will be back once minecraft is up I've already loaded up the world and in the creative tabs you notice well not creative tabs but in your in creative inventory you notice that it now has one slash two and if you click next it has this with the uh, items icon and now all of our items are in here okay so if you like this video give it a like if you obviously uh, if this tutorial helped you at all give it a like if it didn't give it a dislike if you think this tutorial took way too much time longer than what it needed to be you can also give it a dislike if you want to see more by me subscribe uh, have a good day or night or whatever time it is bye